Ah, Chicago in the springtime. Get some fresh air by checking your mail. Oh, look, my 2020 census form came. Oh, hey, neighbor. Video chat with your friends so they remember what you look like. Hey, guys, remember me? Can you make sure your handlers fill out their census form? Cook up your own Chicago-style pizza. And when that all goes wrong, support local restaurants with takeout or delivery. Mm, delicious. Mayor Lightfoot finished third behind Vallis and Johnson and will now leave office May 15th. She's the first incumbent not to win re-election here since 1983. Political editor Mike Flannery joins us now. Oh, criminals being emboldened. Uh, you know, we just had a case of 13-year-olds who, uh, who, who carjacked uh, a car and then sped into a 70-year-old man, killing him, and they were released the same day. So, you know, criminals know that, uh, that if there are no consequences to their crimes. You know... So as you guys just saw there, uh, it's been quite terrible under Lori Lightfoot's reign in Chirac. And thankfully, it's over. <laughs> it is over. Now, that is, you know, there's still a cause to pause because, of course, there's just more Democrats coming right behind her. But uh, at least she's gone, right? At, at least she is gone. Uh, quite possibly the worst mayor in history. I don't know. What do you What do y'all think? Let me know in the comment section if Lori Lightfoot has been the worst mayor in history. I'm sure at some point in time, excuse me, there was a worse mayor, right? Had to have been. Had to have been. I I can't I can't be living through two of the worst people uh, in their offices. At once, you know, Joe being the worst president ever, Kamala being the worst uh, uh, vice president ever, and Lori Lightfoot being the worst mayor ever. What are the chances of that one? But anyway, I, I came across this clip that I wanted to check out with you guys because it is absolutely hilarious to me. Let's dive into it. You shut down our schools, you shut down the churches, you shut down the businesses. You did the one thing that I thought could never happen. As somebody who, who was born and raised on the south side of Chicago, I never thought in my life that I would ever see the city of Chicago brought down so low. I hope that after today's city council meeting, you will pack your suitcase and get the hell out of my city. Get the hell out of my city. That native Chicago reporter ripping into <laughs> Lori Lightfoot. <laughs> Oh, Beetle Juice, get the H E double hockey sticks out of my city. <laughs> Bro, he didn't hold back at all. At all. You guys probably recognize that guy, but I'll, I'll let him tell you guys exactly who he is. It's failed leadership as mayor as she proceeds over one of her last city council meetings as mayor. That reporter, William J. Kelly, sued Mayor Lightfoot last year over her treatment of the press. He joins us right now. William, good morning to you. Thank you, Steve. You've uh, been with us every step of the way here. Thank you for having me. Well, absolutely. What's interesting is uh, you came to our attention because she pulled your press credentials because she did not like your hard questions. So how did you wind up in front of her for three minutes yesterday. Well, <laughs> even if I, I, she didn't pull my press credentials, I still would not have had the opportunity to ask her a question or, or speak for the people of Chicago after the, the, the city council meeting because Mayor Lightfoot canceled her post uh, city council meeting press conference. Mm -hmm. So I decided, you know, like every. Of course she did because she doesn't like to answer questions. I figured that out about Lori Lightfoot. Everything else in Chicago now, I had to, like, Kobayashi Maru meets Mission Impossible. I uh, applied for the uh, the public comment section. Right. Uh, uh, pre, you know, right before the meeting. A lottery. It's, it's a lottery. It's limited to 
uh, five people to speak for three minutes and just <laughs> miraculous, the luck of the Irish, St. Patrick's Day, I, yeah. I was one of the five. Yeah, no kidding. She's probably sitting right there thinking, oh, no, it's that guy. Who, who gave him three minutes? Uh, you had three minutes, and you made the most of it. We saw you just a moment ago tell her to get the hell out of your town. Here you are asking about her pulling your press credentials. I should be sitting over there with my colleagues, but I'm, I'm standing over here. You told me that crime was down. My videos went viral. Multi millions of views, comments, likes, and shares. We checked them out. And it was hurting your re-election campaign. So you revoked my media credential. And I know uh, your media credential. And by doing that, she hurt herself even more. Credential question is still being tied up in the court. Did she respond to you in any way? She did not respond. I, I felt like I had to do that, Steve, because so many Chicagoans have told me yeah. that they feel like, my, like I'm speaking for them. And they never got a chance to, you know, they never had their voices heard. You know, that's why I'm writing a book to tell their story now and to really explain what happened in Chicago <laughs> under Lightfoot. You know, I feel it's like a little like victory over Lightfoot Day in Chicago or something. But my fear <laughs> is that once she's gone and the national attention goes away, that Chicago, the real Chicagoans will be right back in, you know, the, 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 cri the crime and the corruption. Sure. Uh, so we need to dissect what happened here, make sure it never happens again. My, my media credential is still in federal court. Uh, we need this to, uh, we need to be successful. You can read about that at reporterwilliamjkelly.com. And it, it, this can never happen to another major American city. Steve, thank you. <laughs> well, William J. Kelly, I believe that's his name. She's gone. She's gone. And I hope he gets his uh, credentials back. Uh, <laughs> because as you guys have seen, and we've checked out Lori Lightfoot several, several times, including a couple of his clips, uh, in, in, in particular, she doesn't like answering questions. She likes getting praised in my estimation, uh, in my opinion, because when she's asked like a little softball question, she's like, oh, she's super happy, super happy to answer. But when she's asked like a serious question, uh, there was a clip of her where she was like literally shaking. She was so angry, like visibly shaking. Uh, some of you may remember that clip, like visibly, like, uh, I was like, do y'all see that? Like she's legitimately shaking and allegedly took away his credentials because he was asking tough questions. Um, I, I, I saw a clip of her, um, Saying that, you know, uh, what, 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 what were her exact words? Um, oh, man. She would talk down at reporters that asked her tough questions. Like, oh, man, your question's absolutely ridiculous. It's stupid. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so, hey, shout out to Chirac, man. Y'all got her out of there. But, uh, unfortunately, y'all just elected another Democrat. So, woo, congratulations. You probably played yourself. So, yeah, things might get a little bit better, but they're never going to be as good as they would have been if you guys would actually um, drop the cojones and uh, maybe elect a Republican at some point. Just give it a try. As, uh, you know, the president coming back in 24 would say, what do you have to lose? Y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.